What are you doing, Micah? Trying to block the smell of the thousands and thousands of bats that are like 50 meters over there. <sighs> it stinks. What are we doing this morning, mate? Um, going on a boat cruise. The Three Gorges Tour. To the cup. You're used to the cup. Just heading out of Catherine and um, just spent the days, last few days restocking, especially on gluten-free snacks because we don't know what we're going to be able to get in Kananara. Um, and the directions, as Guy just said, are... 466 kilometres on this road and then turn right. <laughs> yeah, so if we go 7Ks too far, we'll be in WA. So straight for 465Ks. <laughs> it's the little things that remind you about how big this country is. So we just passed a sign saying the next service, so next petrol, 196 kilometres. It's just... Yeah. It's a long way. And Mum's driving. I'm driving. Yeah. Seal <laughs> road. Oh, it's been a long drive today. But we're almost there. Unfortunately, no swimming this afternoon. Crocodiles live in this park. Yeah, we drove past uh, someone who'd fallen asleep at the wheel and flipped their camper. So, yeah, stop and rest and don't fall asleep at the wheel. It's not good. No one was hurt, thank goodness, but their camper was totaled. <laughs> and it's time for another sign photo. Sunrise. Here at the campsite. What a horrible place to wake up to. And we've got the light just coming up over on the hills behind us. Awesome. filtering through the pandanus. Coffee's on the go for Rani. They're having a bit of a sleep in. But we'll get them up, get them on the road. We've got a walk to do. So yeah, this morning we're doing the Jarnam walks. I'm gonna do the Jarnam loop walk. Go up to Lookout, then over to Niggly Grap, and then back to here. Should be a good morning.
How does that walk up, Micah? It's a bit steep. A bit steep? Oh, I think you're out of condition after sitting in the car all day, you say. Boy, <laughs> it was invigorating. <laughs> While it's at a After our walk this morning through the, what was it, the black dirt floodplains? Black soil, yeah. Black soil floodplains. I thought I'd better wipe off my legs and um, got some paper towel and wet it to clean my legs off. And now I'm just a big mud pit. I don't know if you can see that. It's gross. But I think we might need to get the shower tent out. I feel pretty tanky. So for tonight's dinner, courtesy of the Western Australian border, we're having Saladus giganticus, a massive bowl of salad. We're having sausages and then steak cooked in sausage fat and mushrooms cooked in sausage and steak fat. Maybe some kind of sauce. Um, yeah. And tomorrow morning we have a veritable feast. We have a, yeah. To finish off any other veggies. Lots of, yeah, lots of other veggies cooked up and avocado and bits and pieces and lots of veggies. So that'll make up for the long period of time that we're on the Gibb River Road where there will be, yeah, no shops and very few possibilities of stocking up on fresh fruit and veggies. Yep. Basically crossing WA, we're only five kilometers or so from the border. Uh, the entrance into Keep River and uh, the border rules say that no fruit, veg or honey products. So we've got a whole thing of honey we're going to have to throw out unfortunately. We thought we'd... Take it up to the ranger station. Yeah, we'll take it up the ranger, of honey. <laughs> ranger station, see if they want it. But yeah, we, uh, we thought we'd eat more honey than we actually did, unfortunately. Anyway, sunset, enjoy the campground. Not many people here tonight, and maybe sneaky beverage, and yeah, no, I can't let Ginger into, into WA, um, and into WA tomorrow, see ya. Not sure if you can see, but in this tree just here, right in front of me, there's a black cockatoo, which is really cool. Okay, today we're like maybe four or five days away from the Gibb River Road. Hooray, we're very close and we're just testing out the winch here. For those who don't know what a winch is, a winch is a long bit of rope that goes in the car and if you get bogged or stuck somewhere, try to get up a rocky hill or something, you can attach it to something like a tree and it and then pull the winch in and it will pull the car up the hill to wherever you're going. Really, really handy piece of equipment. We're lucky we have this. And so we're just testing it out today. Okay, we're pulling the winch out now. Okay, so now we're attaching the winch to the tree trunk protector. Okay, my move. The winch is pulling the car. So just then we saw a flock of red-tailed black cockatoos. Again, amazing bird. Yeah, I thought I was filming on my phone, but I just got the end bit where I looked at my nose and down down at my feet. <laughs> Not the actual. <laughs> But they were really, really pretty. We're gonna have the camera at the ready to see if we can spot any. So hopefully we can get some on camera. They are beautiful birds. Welcome to WA. Just arrived at the quarantine checkpoint at the WA NT border. And we've packed up and said goodbye to Keep River. 
Goodbye. Goodbye, Keep River. What was your highlight, Micah? Um, the walks were amazing. Just lazing around, having a break day. Yeah. And what about you, Violet? Violet's having a quiet day. Ah, uh, birds. It's birds. all black. Red-tailed black cockatoos. There were um, brogers. There was all sorts well, of stuff. Yeah, and the stone curlew that um, froze in the middle of the night when I put my headlamp on it and then scurried off in the dark again. Um, very cool. And yeah, lots of cockatoos, and I keep missing them on the camera. But anyway, they're beautiful. Um, we had a great time. See you later, Keep River. Just doing a little bit of prep at the moment. Um, we realise we've got 18 days between Kununurra and Derby going through Pernalulu, the Bungle Bungles and also through the Gibb River Road so there's our meat storage and there's the other $550 worth of groceries <laughs> that we now have to fit into our camper in various places so that's our job for the next couple of next half an hour or so and today we've come out to Lake Argyle about 70 k's away from Kununurra there's the spillway and it's pumping because the dam is exceedingly full it was 100% full earlier on or over 100% full earlier on this year Hey mom, hey kids. And we've been pumping around kayaks in the back of our car, inflatable kayaks for the last little while. A couple of months. So we're going to get them out of the car and go for a kayak. Hopefully. The kayaks are all pumped up. And we're kayaking on Lake Argyle. Going over there apparently. It's not an island, that's just an inlet. I know. It looks nice. <laughs> Alright. So what did you guys just see? A baby one. It, it scampered over the rocks and then belly flopped into the water. So who's coming for a swim with the crocs? Hello. You coming in mum? Yeah, they're, they're only freshies, that's right. So, Lake Argyle, home to 38,000 freshwater crocs. We've seen two of them so far. And going for a swim. out of Kananara we have the Ivanhoe crossing Yay. at sunset beautiful hello closed vehicles at the moment so I no driving why. across there and getting beautiful drone shots with Rani driving the drone oh well next time and it's a lovely early morning start from Kununurra. Mum's driving. Oh, Yay, oh. Mum! We're heading down to Pernalulu, or as it used to be known, the Bungle Bungles today. Be about a four hour drive, about two and a half hours to the park entrance, which is about 200 and something k's, and then another hour and a half for the 50 k's into the actual park, apparently. So. Uh, Kununurra was was great. Um, you know, I thought of it just as a stopover, but there's so much more to do here. It's another town to that I plan to come back to. Um, we went out to Lake Argyle yesterday, and what did we see? Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Very cute crocodiles. Very, very cute crocodiles. So we went, uh, been carrying kayaks around in the back of the car. So we. Uh, and top of the car. So we went out for a kayak on Lake Argyle and we saw a baby crocodile, it was so cute. And a couple of larger ones. 
and went for a swim and it was just a good day out and we've spent lots of money on uh, food. Anyway, did you guys have fun in Kununurra? Yep. Yep. It was great, especially the cute crocodiles. They were adorable. Yes. Okay, Micah? Um, yeah, the crocodiles were really cool. Kayaking was amazing. Lake Argyle was really, really cool. Just relaxing a bit and the excitement of the Gib, going to the Gib soon. Awesome. And Mum? Um, Lake Argyle was definitely a highlight, but I also enjoyed going into the Durak House, um, historical house and museum, which was really interesting. Learning about um, the Durak family and their homestead, and that they tried to move a lot of cattle from Queensland um, down to here, but uh, that wasn't such a great mission for them back in the 1800s. So yeah, it was interesting. It was had a great time. They thought it would take six months. It took them two and a half years to move uh, their cattle from Queensland all the way, all the way across to WA. Anyway. It's off to Penalulu.